Carmichael, Alabama's got three significant injuries it's going to have to be dealing with in the near future. Kenyon Drake, first off, he's going to be gone for most, if not all, the season. I think it's a long shot to even expect him to be back at any point this season. Denzel, the ball's out for at least three to four weeks with uh, a high ankle sprain. And then Ryan Kelly's out for the next two games. So looking forward to this Arkansas game. Three spots where Alabama's going to have a lot of new faces uh, and some, some players who have played a little bit but are going to be playing some more significant roles going forward. Yeah, and of those three, I think the center position is the most crucial in, sense, in terms of this game because it is like a player that, that plays every down and is, is, is crucial to the to the whole offensive line call and call and blocking schemes, calling out everything and playing on a, on a road environment. It's another, another test, but Bozeman, Bradley Bozeman came into that game, Ole Miss, uh, his first real meaningful action in a, in a very unideal moment uh, to be on the road at a place like Ole Miss. But, uh, there were some issues. I think they'll be able to work some of those out, but he'll be on the road again this week in, in Arkansas. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that, that week one and week two progression with him. He's got two true freshmen behind him on the depth chart. So there's not a lot of experience going through that. Yeah, Alabama has no choice but to replace Ryan Kelly straight up with another player because, like you said, he's the center. With, with Denzel DeVall, it's an interesting case where they can maybe work around not having DeVall. I think you got to replace him straight up in some situations. Use Ryan Anderson maybe Rashawn Evans, maybe Tim Williams, but they move those outside linebackers uh, a lot with a lot of different different situational kind of uh, plays. But Kenyon Drake is just a guy that I don't think you can replace. I don't think there's a guy that's ready-made that you can just plug into the role that he filled. Uh, maybe as a running back, sure, you can put in uh, a guy like Alta Tenpenny, but kind of that dual threat he had uh, is being able to split out wide and catch passes like that 87-yard pass he had against Florida. I, I just don't see a player on the roster that can – do all those things uh, the way he did. Now, he was ideal for Lane Kiffin's offense. He really seemed to use him pretty well. He scored six touchdowns in, in four games, so uh, he was a big part of that. Though he wasn't a, an every play player, he was able to be stuck in there in, in important situations and, and was a major mismatch. Yeah, the Drake injury combined with, combined with Tyron Jones already out with a finger injury, that leaves Alabama with just three scholarship running backs going into this game. And cer certainly, it's good that Henry and Yeldon for Alabama, that they're healthy right now. Uh, but LT Tenpenny, after him, that's really about it. So one of the deepest positions on Alabama's roster over the last couple of years, suddenly one of the thinnest. Uh, and one injury, one more injury at that position could really cause some problems going forward. Yeah, no, it'll be something to watch, especially since uh, Yeldon and Henry have had minor issues throughout the season. We'll keep uh, previewing Arkansas Alabama as the week goes on. Uh, it's certainly uh, become an even bigger matchup now after what happened to Alabama on Saturday.